Hey folks, TechNivers here. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm starting a new playlist that I am calling Kira Question and Answer. I get a lot of questions in the comments about Kira, so today we're going to be looking at the most recent one, and I thought it was a good question to cover, and that is how to add different filaments and different filament profiles to Kira so you can have them set up and ready to go while also accounting for the cost and things like that. So we're going to jump into that right now on the TechNivers channel. All right, so here we are. We're looking at this original question. It is a comment from user Joe Collins, and it says, Hey, have you figured out a way to add new material and be able to use the profile? I'm trying to add a PETG Plus as the type, and it will not let me use any profiles. The reason I need to add it is I want to keep it separate from the regular PETG, as one, cost is different, and two, I have some colors where I have it in both. I tried to update the vendor, but Inland only has PETG in the download through Kira, by the way, thanks for the upgrade parts. There's a nice uh, compliment here on some of the parts I made for the Ender 3, so I appreciate that. Let's take a look and see if we can solve your problems. The first thing I want to do is go up here to Settings, and let's click Manage Printers. Now, we're not actually going to mess with the printers. Uh, we could have easily just gone over here into our profile and selected, uh, I believe... Yeah, manage profiles here, which is actually where we want to go uh, and probably what I should have done. So um, these are your profiles for your printer. Um, this is showing my Ender 3 profiles because that is what I have selected up here in the corner, as you can see. But if we take a look in the materials tab, you can see we have all sorts of great stuff here. So um, basically, we're going to ignore everything that you see here for right now. And we're basically just going to click create. Um, these are basic settings that it's going to have generate support. No, um, discard the changes. So supports on automatically. Basically, uh, it pops up this guy here. So custom PLA, custom material. So what happened? Um, basically, let's close that. It took everything that was in this dialog box here, uh, my computer's freezing up for some reason, and it made a new filament with those settings. So you can change those settings independently and say I'm using a, a generic PLA and I want to raise the temperature, I can do that without actually changing the material. But if I want to have them dialed in, this is where you want to be and this is exactly what you want to see. So um, in your case, be doing um, let's just put it like this this is going to be our profiles display name okay um, the brand you say you're using inland so we'll put that there if it'll let me type there we go and the material type is going to be a PETG plus um, then you have the option of changing the color you can select whatever color you would like and the filament that you're using, I tend to not mess with the color because uh, I use the same profiles for different prints, so it's not necessarily going to be the color it shows up as in Kira here. But um, the other things to check are the density, diameter, filament cost, and filament weight. Now, you generally don't have to worry about density and diameter. They're going to be the same because you're using them for the same printer. The density will be a little bit different, but if you can't get a hold of those numbers, leaving it where it's at is is just perfectly fine. What you do want to do here is go ahead and say, I got a kilo, that's a thousand grams, okay, um, and that gives me 335 millimeters of filament, or meters of filament, excuse me, and let's see, I can say that, say you pay 25 euros, apparently, um, yeah, we'll leave that right there. So, and then if you want to add any description or comments or anything, you can add that here. I'll just leave these pieces how they are because I'm not really going to use this. This, but uh, yeah, that's basically how you do it. So now that I have this, what you're going to do is hit create, and you now have an inland icon where I can expand the menu, then I have PETG Plus and the blue inland PETG. So if I select that, I can see that I have everything set exactly how I had it. And that is basically the gist of it. 
One more thing though, if we go to general settings here, I want to find this. Um, you can change that currency right here um, to whatever you want. Um, basically, it's going to use that to calculate the cost per the length of the filament, how much you're going to be spending per model, which is a very awesome thing to have. But the denominator of what monetary unit it is in doesn't really matter as long as you understand that it's dollars or euros or whatever. You can actually, uh, I don't know if you can leave this blank or not, but I'll set it to dollars. If we go back and look at our materials again, you can see that if I select the inland inland that it is $25 now. So it's not adjusting the price for the different currencies. Be aware of that. Make sure that you're calculating in your currency. That's basically all that matters. Um, now that I have that material set, I can actually go up here and I can export it. Uh, and then I can put it up on my GitHub. You can download it and import it. But I showed you this so you can make it yourself and I would prefer you do it that way. I'm not going to get into hosting a bunch of material profiles. I already have too many printer profiles on my GitHub as it is. Um, but you can also import them the same way. Or say I wanted to make a copy of this, I can just hit duplicate. And then I can go in here and change the color. And it updates. So that's basically the gist of it, guys. If you found this video helpful, drop down in the comments. Leave me any questions you have about Kira yourself. Definitely leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more of these coming in the future. I already have several other questions lined up and ready to fire out of the stack here. So stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Stick around guys, I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here. And if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure that you smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one. Technivorous out.